the political environment is not very secure one, if one should, should call it. We have seen lots of temptation for countries to develop nuclear weapons in the last decade or so. We, we started with Iraq, we, we, we then saw Libya. We, we're still going through verifying the Iran undeclared program for, an, for almost two decades. Uh, we have seen the nuclear test in North Korea. So it's becoming fashionable, if, if you like, uh, for countries to try to look into possibilities of shielding themselves, protecting themselves through, through a nuclear, nuclear weapons. Safeguard is, although a very much technical <coughs> activity, is working in a very politically charged environment. And uh, we have seen that it could make the difference between war and peace, which puts an additional responsibility on, on our shoulders, on your shoulders, to make sure that we, we are providing all the necessary information as much as we can, in a, in a very objective, as objective, as impartial as we can. We realize that the key for uh, focus of our activities right now in many ways is uh, how, to how to detect possible undeclared activities. I think that that's something that has not really been our focus since 1990, until 1991 when we discovered the Iraq program, but ha is now very much the major, major part of our activities. Sure, we still have to worry about declared activities, particularly sensitive activities, and see that we uh, see we are doing a proper job, early warning, etc. But, but how we get uh, the ability to discover uh, possible undeclared activities is, is the key challenge we are, we are facing right now. Another challenge, obviously, is we have seen in Libya, we have seen in, we are going to face, in Iraq, of course, we are going to face in North Korea, is when a country already moved into the weaponization, you know, field, you know, how to make sure that we organize ourselves to, to, to see to it that uh, the dismantle weapons, if they exist, dismantle weaponization structure when they, are, when they are there, take custody of weapon designs, all that sort of, you know, paraphernalia, which you, you, you usually find in a, in a country that have moved on the nuclear weapon path. This is again something new because for us, we, in the past, we have only been working for peaceful nuclear activities. But now we have to deal with, uh, in certain situations, some sensitive weaponization activities. Some of the new, again, some of the new tools we are looking at are, I think, are uh, exciting and challenging. Uh, the obviously, uh, wide area monitoring would be is, is one area. Environmental sampling, wide area monitoring, I think is. <laughs> Would, would help a lot in us for in the area of de detecting undeclared activities, on-site sampling and analysis to determine nature and history of relevant material. Again, you know, is is would be a key advance for us. Uh, improved analysis of particle from environmental sampling to get to get with precision exactly the history and the nature of of of, of the material. Uh, each of these issues of obviously has its own challenges, has, has its own uh, uh, prerequisites. And uh, I wish uh, and I, I'm sure that you will discuss these issues in, in depth. You will discuss these issues in, in context.